Hello, hello everybody. This is Sister's Intuition. I'm coming to you with the sign of Aquarius. We're doing the mid-month January to the end of January, okay? So, anyhow, I would like to say I would please if you would very, very, I would very much appreciate it, if I can spit the shit out right, for you to share. Give me a big fat thumbs up, like, subscribe. I would surely appreciate it. Um, other than that, this is a journal reading. You know how this goes. The message is not going to resonate with everybody because it is general. Check your other placements. Um, other than that, you know, if this is not your message, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. And if not, if this is not your message, um, there's other readers here on YouTube that's very, very talented. I'm sure they have a message for you. And uh, just take what resonates and, you know, leave the rest pretty much. Okay? So... Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for mid-January to the end of January 2022, Aquarius, January to mid-January to end of January 2022, Sun, Moon, moon Rising, Venus, I don't know what's wrong with me, I can't talk, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit, mid-January to the end of January 2022, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay, there it goes, thank you, Spirit, okay, so, you got the love, okay, so, it says that there's some codependencies going on, and somebody needs to set some boundaries, so there could be some codependent relationships going on, you know, somebody being fearful of being alone, uh, could be some addictions going on, uh, so, yeah, Okay, we are lifting the veil, okay? We're lifting the veil, you know, shit is starting to be seen, it was hidden, and you're starting to question everything with this being said, and you're letting shit go that's not supposed to be there, and we're thinking about the big picture. We're starting to be a visionary. We're starting to visualize what it is we want for the big picture. We're going after that shit, Spirit says, and we're having some inspired ideas. Somebody is in a dark place right now, the void, okay? Somebody's very torn, very, very torn. But there could be some uh, hurt going on here, um, some emotional wounds, some childhood wounds, you know, and it's time for you to embrace the winter. More or less, it's time for you to embrace your emotion. You know, if you're in a dark place, go seek some help, seek some counseling, you know, try to get out of this dark place, okay? Uh, activated earth, okay? So this is power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. So there's gonna be some key places that you're going to be led to, led to. Shit, why can't I talk today? And spirit is going to activate. They're activating some people. They're activating the earth, man. And uh, they're leading you to places. Okay? So just pay attention. And there's some karmic relationships going on. So there is some, uh, there's some conflict going on. There's some endings of some relationships. You know, some soul growth going on. And spirit is saying it's time for you to forge, don't follow. It's time for some people to get out of these karmic relationships, learn your lessons, and pave you a new path. You know, quit trying to follow somebody else's path, in other words, okay? All right, Pisces. Not Pisces, she had just done Pisces, sorry. Aquarius. Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, mid-January to the end of January 2022. Pisces, spirit, Pisces, Pisces, sun, why do I keep saying Pisces, somebody's dealing with a fucking Pisces, okay, that could be, somebody's trying to deal with a Pisces, this, I bet this is going to show up in this read, anyhow, Aquarius, fuck, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Aquarius, I'm sorry y'all, but there's got to be a Pisces involved here, got to be, I keep saying it, alright, alrighty, Aquarius, Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, this is coming out. Trust your intuition, Spirit is saying. You know, Spirit is telling you to trust your intuition with this romantic partner that you have. And, you know, you could be have your intuition could be telling you you need to let this person go and you would be correct. Spirit is saying, don't ignore what your intuition is telling you right now. Y'all's intuition is on point right now. Listen, y'all are supposed to be letting this romantic partner go. There will be a peace of mind in the end of this, okay? But it's time to let this shit go. Exactly. Y'all need some quiet time so y'all can think. 
you know, pray, whatever you need to do, where you can, you know, really do some thinking about what it is you need to do, and you need to move forward fiercely, knowing that you're protected, you're being guided, okay? Um, the inner power, you got the inner power and the strength to do this, you need to know your beauty and your worth, knowing that you're very uh, radiant on the inside and out, and it's time to detoxify from this uh, negative situation, if there's addictions, you know, get that out of your life, cleanse that out, and uh, just all the toxicity, people, places, and things, it's time to get that out of your energy, Miracle healings. There's a lot of healing that needs to go on. Um, parenting the children. So there could be some issues uh, going on around parenting the children and family at this time. It's time to heal that. And, you know, it's time to start relying on yourself. There could be some uh, inner childhood wounds that's really messing with you right now. It's got you in your emotions. But Spirit's telling you to allow that to happen, to embrace your emotions. They are necessary. But the inner child, you know, heal this stuff, these abandonment issues, these traumas, these fears. It's time to heal that. And it's time to start relying on yourself, Spirit says. And to be aware of your environment is right here. So be aware of your environment, okay? Be aware of your environment. Yeah, baby. But excuse me, that's my son. Be aware of your environment, sorry, and the people that's in it. And you need to stand your ground. Stand your ground with people and affirm some boundaries, okay? Yeah, that's what is happening this month. So start, start some standing some ground with some folks, that's what it says. Balancing act. That's set there. So this is Libra. Okay, because that's justice. But this right here is number 11. So, you know, some wishes is coming true, but spirits up here having to balance some shit out, okay? It's about balance. Shit has been out of balance, okay? Shit has definitely been out of balance, and spirit is, uh, I'm doing a video for you too, so I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? So anyhow, spirit is balancing some shit out, balancing act. So what ain't aligned has got to go, okay? Rock bottom, there's been some endings, okay? There's been some endings, somebody feels like they've hit the rock bottom, okay? So, you know, this ending has caused somebody to crash to the rock bottom. You could be losing a lot of your security. You could be losing a lot right now, but Spirit's saying, you know, if you're at the rock bottom, the only place is up from here. You know, you're very stuck. Somebody could be stuck right now, not knowing which way they need to go because they've done something very impulsive. Um, yeah, somebody's very stuck, but it, it's okay. We all make mistakes. That's how we grow. That's how we learn. We wipe ourselves off and we get back up and we fucking try again. The Spirit's saying y'all need to pump the brakes. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay? Mm, okay, what else for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. Relationships is coming apart. Could be some uh, current relationships. Yeah. Somebody is aware. Wizard of awareness. Okay, this right here is the number three. So somebody, number three is about putting the past behind us. It's about moving forward. But the wizard of awareness is about us being aware of our surroundings. Being aware of the people around us. Being an observer. Being quiet and sitting around and just really, really looking at a motherfucker. Okay? Um, figuring shit out. Uh, another thing is, is you know, that, that had the thing of the turning off. So this right here is a lot of emotion that's really, really going you know, inside of you is really, really moving right now, okay? The moonlight is here, because there could be some shit that's hidden, okay? But this is right, paying attention to your intuition, the magic of prayer. So, you know, everything you're doing right now, whether it be, um, whether it be, you know, getting up in the morning and say, thank you, God, for another day. Thank you, Raw. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, angels, ancestors, whoever it is you believe in, in a higher source. Thank you for another day, but praying, meditating, you know, every kind of decision you need to make, Getting up, going to bed, it doesn't matter. But the moonlight is also about an illusion. It's about a lot of fears. There's a lot of illusions going on here, okay? Some fear going on and some shit that is most definitely hidden, okay? So, yeah. So, whatever was hidden could have been coming out, and that could be what's caused this rock bottom. I'm not really sure, but we will see in a minute, okay? All right, let's see what we got over here. All right, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to end of January 2022. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mid-January to end of January 2022. Yep, deception's on the bottom. There's deception going on here right now. Somebody's wearing a false mask. Okay, there could be some problems in your finances, in your career. You know, somebody could be having some financial issues in their relationship right now, but somebody is most definitely wearing a mask. Somebody's portraying to be something that they're not, Spirit says. Okay, all right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, thank you. 
codependency exactly there's some addictions going on okay a codependent relationships going on you know thinking that you've got to have somebody you got to be in a relationship this is um this is about uh also about some addictions going on whether it be substance whether it be drinking you know whether it be just sexual addiction somebody could be addicted to sex here uh, somebody is saying express your love to go ahead and write to the romantic gesture. Somebody could be wanting to come back in and reconcile, could want a reconciliation here. There could be some children involved. Children could be a factor here. Uh, trying to figure out if you want to give this relationship a chance, maybe wanting to work on a partnership. Okay. Uh, but this is unrequited love. Spirit says, you know, the love is not reciprocated. You know, somebody feels one type of way and the other person uh, necessarily don't. They could be um, acting like they do because there is the deception. Somebody wearing a false mask. Uh, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mid-January, end of January, 2022. Aquarius. Let's see what we got here. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. On the bottom, you are here for a purpose. Learning, realizing what matters. So you're here for a purpose, okay? Trust what you need is there. So you got to have faith that everything that you need is going to be there. With love, all can be accomplished. So as long as you're doing this out of love and stuff, you know, don't have any fear that stuff is going to happen. It says miracles happen. Give your, give the universe your clear intentions. So, you know, miracles do happen. You know, all this praying and stuff, what it said a minute ago, you could be praying to God, praying to Source, Ra, whoever you believe in. And Spirit's saying, this is a confirmation that miracles do happen. Keep on believing. Okay, keep on believing. Give spirit your um, clear intention. And it says, you are bright energy. I'm doing a YouTube video. I need to stop. It says, you are a bright energy. Color uplifts you. So, you know, color could be uplifting you right now. I'm so sorry. My kids is home. We have snow days today, and they're um, all home. So, i already done this deck yet. Okay. Sebastian, I just said I'm doing a YouTube video. You need to stop. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to the end of January 2022. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, ooh, it is change. <laughs> change is here, Spirit says. Change is happening. So the wheels are turning. Okay, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January, end of January 2022, the pathway. So Spirit says change is here. Somebody's on a different pathway or going on a different pathway. This pathway, it has light in it. So this is about Spirit going to light up the pathway. You know, paying attention to your intuition, paying attention to Spirit, to Source, and they're going to lead you down this pathway. There's going to be some kind of change in the distant horizon that is coming. Yeah, on the bottom, a false person. What do we need to know about this change in pathway and distant horizon for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Change, pathway, distant horizon. What do we need to know about this, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Change, pathway, and distant horizon. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, we got to fall down. Okay, hang on. This is in the family room. So there's something going on in the family room, okay? Mm. The main female is here. So the main female of the house could be a marriage or something. I don't know, but it's in the family room. But there's an official person that could be living somebody in poverty, okay? Change is here. So, yeah, there's somebody that could be in poverty now, okay? All right. Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. These things are so hard to show for they're so small. Huh. Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Mid-January to end of January 2022. Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Mid January to end of January 2022. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Karma. Woo! Karma is here. The changes here of Karma. Spirit is saying revenge won't solve anything, but Karma will. Somebody is getting a dose for the uh, dose of uh, their own karma for the pain and the hurt they have caused. Okay, the second house spirit says everything this person in this situation may claim 
as their own, their money, their possessions, their own self-worth. Whatever this person is claiming they got, Spirit says they ain't got shit, okay? And this person could be very insecure. We are dealing with a copycat. So somebody could be trying to copy somebody's style at this time. So whoever this copycat is, we've been having a lot of that going on. I have personally over on uh, Facebook. I do live readings over there. And I've been having somebody come in there. I'm be doing a live reading. And somebody come up there giving up. And with my damn profile, trying to uh, message people for reading. I mean, come on. So these copycats is getting... It's just to get some karma, period. There's evidence of it, Spirit says. And the eighth house is somebody's wanting power. There's a change in power here, I think. The eighth house. This situation involves cycles, death and rebirths. Somebody's attitude towards personal change. So somebody could be not wanting to change right now. You know, their personal growth. This is about the powerhouse and stuff. There's a lot of evidence going on. Tell me about this evidence and this copycat and karma for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Receipts. Somebody better keep up with them fucking receipts. Having receipts. Somebody's got receipts here. Somebody's keeping tabs on somebody here. Somebody's hooked to somebody or something. And there is a betrayal. A betrayal. Somebody has backstabbed and been disloyal. Betrayed somebody's trust and somebody is slacking. They're slacking out here playing, playing and partying, doing playing too many games, and they're slacking. They're wanting to take the shortcut, the easy way out, and the easy way never ends well, okay? Hmm, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay. Tw false Twin Flame. So we've been dealing with a False Twin Flame. Somebody's in a lot of regrets. How they've, um, how they contributed to the mess. This is the 10th house. This situation involves somebody's ambitions, their motives. Be careful, peaceful's motives. But this is people's ranks in society, their achievements. We could be doing some achievements and social class. Could be some out social media. See, these people go to no limit, Spirit says. They fuck over anybody they want to. They do what they want to in order to get what they want. And this could be an ex lover, Spirit says. They are very irresponsible. They have a lack of accountability. Okay, and there being a lot of lies, a lot of rumors being spread around about this ex-lover, okay? Uh, there's a lot of fake shit going on, a lot of lies. None of this shit is true. It's a lot of gossip, a lot of lies, okay? What else, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, fell on the floor, what is it? Hang on. Well, I picked the damn car up in the day. The ninth house. This situation involves somebody's belief systems, their religion, their ideologies, their higher learning and travel philosophies. Somebody is hating. Okay, they're fucking haters because of somebody's belief systems, because they're religions. Okay, because this could be somebody, a philosopher. So this could be somebody that's a prophet. Could be a prophet here. Somebody's hating this. They're fucking haters. They want to knock somebody down to size. They cannot be happy for them. And this person, whoever this is, they're having uh, money problems. Spirit says this person is a role model. They're being an inspiration to a lot of people. Okay? Um, yeah. Mm. Ooh, on the top. Mm, 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 mm. I don't like this shit. Okay, on the top, I'm going to tell you right now. The balance snacks. The spirits balance some shit out that did come out at the first. There's witchcraft. Somebody's using magic here to get their way. Somebody's deviation spine. This could be a tarot card reader. Somebody's deviation spine trying to get some information on somebody. And somebody has woke up. And they're doing a lot of eavesdropping and doing, you know, peeping in on somebody trying to, you know, like a fucking stalker. <laughs> More or less like a fucking stalker. All right, let's see what these fucking tarot cards say. Okay, let's get into this shit here. All right. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to end of January, the devil. <laughs> Whew, okay, the devil's here. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'm going to tell you that now. Somebody's in a lot of regrets, a lot of sorrow about a betrayal. They're very upset, okay? Mm, okay, let's just shuffle some more. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mm, the truth is out. Somebody's got truth and clarity about a Capricorn or about somebody being a snake, being disloyal, or about the devil being here. So I'm going to see All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to end of January. Okay, Twin Flames. This is about somebody's soul's ascension. 
about an enlightenment process, okay? That this could be their purpose, okay? Somebody's wanting to hold on to control to somebody, okay? They don't want them to go anywhere. They want to hold on to them. But I see like a puppet with a string here. This has got like a string on it. So somebody could be... Mm, I don't know. We'll see here in a minute. But it's somebody's wanting to hold on to this person, I think, for financial reasons. Somebody's very confused. They feel like they're powerless right now. Three of Swords could be a third party. Somebody's heartbroken. There's been some type of betrayal. Nine of Pentacles is somebody that's self-made. They've done this shit themselves. They're very sure about themselves. They're working on their abundance, and their life is starting to get good with this change, this balancing act. They're going to have a beautiful, new, passionate beginning. Tell me... Uh, about this four of pentacles for aquarius sun moon rising and venus okay thank you spirit when the swords is on the bottom somebody is being a person by themselves they don't want anybody queen of swords they are cutting somebody out they're being very clear and they're being very fucking direct okay so somebody's wanting to hold on to somebody because they see that they're they, they invested some time they invested some energy here It'd be about seven years you know somebody could have invested some time uh romantically in something for about seven years you know and they they never they never did get to see any results okay because somebody's missed an opportunity here but whoever this is this uh the the work wise somebody is looking for the investments they're putting in work they're putting in time and you know they're going to see some results because it's starting to bloom right here okay so this is for the long term Yep, this is work. Somebody's putting in the work. They're being very dedicated. You know, they're mastering their skills and emotions. We do have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a person that's coming in. Or it could be just somebody working on their stability and their abundance. And th this shit is going to happen very quickly. Somebody's going to be very stable. Could be a home involved here. Uh, but somebody's wanting to come in quick and communicate because they're hoping to change somebody's mind. But on the bottom, we do have the Queen of Swords. I don't see that shit happening. Somebody's missed an opportunity here with somebody, okay? Tell me about this Eight of Swords. What's the confusion spirit for Aquarius? Okay. Somebody made a, somebody made a wrong choice. Period. This is King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, somebody is very burdened right now. They're struggling really bad. And they are very confused and powerless of how this King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is a leader. How they're getting recognized, you know. So it's somebody's getting, having a victory. This King of Wands is a leader. You know, he's somebody that's an entrepreneur. He's somebody that is going to be recognized. This is male or female. You can flip that row. That's just energy. But the king or queen of wands, anyways, it's, it's uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is a leader. This is somebody of honor. This is somebody that's getting recognized publicly. Um, you know, they're going to have a victory. Their word, they could be getting some public recognition, could be getting some kind of um, rewards or something because it has that in the hand. But it's been a lot of hard work, but they are getting there. Somebody made a wrong choice. Oh, okay. Somebody was very sneaky. Somebody's very, very sneaky. The magician in the reverse. Oh, and this shit wouldn't bounce down. Okay. This person has made a bad decision. The magician in the reverse is somebody that's very fucking sneaky, okay? And then we have the six of pentacles in the reverse. There's no equal give and take. Somebody does something that wasn't balanced, okay? Somebody has a goal. They're coming in very ambitious, very fast, very sharp. They've got that sword drawn, so they're coming in with something to say really quick. Ten of cups. This is about happiness. This is about success. This is about having all of it you want because the Nine of Cups is good, but the Ten of Cups, you got it all, okay? Tell me about this Magician in the Reverse, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. The Magician in the Reverse and the Two of Pentacles in the Reverse of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January, end of January 2022. Magician in the Reverse and the Six of Pentacles in the Reverse. Clarify, please. Magician in the Reverse. Oh, the High Priest. Somebody's fucking with a High Priestess. Somebody's very psychic, very intuitive, okay? Somebody, somebody's going to be out here celebrating, okay? It's been a long, hard battle. But there is, uh, what's, you know, somebody's out here celebrating. Three of Cups. This could be a third party. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving knight, but he's very realistic. He's thorough. Um, but he could, there could be some communication coming in from a Knight of Pentacles. Because they come out some kind of reunion here, okay? Somebody that hasn't been talked to in a while. 
could be a lot of drama going on, but the sun is here. This is an alignment. This could be somebody's twin flame that's coming back in for a reunion here. Yeah, Ace of Cups. Spirit saying this person not to give up. Um, yeah, somebody walked away here, Spirit says, thinking the grass was greener on the other side and the sign of cancer. Somebody's just moving forward. They had the willpower to move forward, you know, the motivation. Queen of Cups, very loving, very stable, very caring, devoted uh, Queen of Cups. So this could be any kind of energy, but the Queen of Cups is um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but somebody, judgment. Somebody's getting judged here, judgment. Oh, fuck. Somebody's getting judged. This could be a Taurus for their beliefs. Uh, this could be something that's going to be legal here, too. In the tower, you cannot fucking avoid this. Something is coming in. It's crashing down. Somebody's been very careless here. Uh, you know, sitting here, they're wanting some good news. I don't see any good news coming for somebody. Um, for somebody, I don't. Somebody's going to get some karma. Somebody is closing out a cycle and ending it and having new beginnings. This could be the reunion. It's coming in with the twin flame. Somebody's very balanced. Um, the fool, there will be no new start with somebody, okay? The five of pentacles is here. Uh, somebody's going to have some bad luck, uh, hard times, and their money. The tower's here in reverse. You cannot avoid it. Something is coming crumbling down. The Leo card is here once again. The Leo's having enough strength, courage, and wisdom to move forward. They're working on their prosperity. They're working on a new solid foundation. Something that's going to grow and blossom most definitely because right there is the flowers. And the Ten of Pentacles, they're working on their success. They're working on their family, their, you know, their, uh, their wealth. They're working on their wealth. They're working on success, you know. Uh, mm, working on it with family. This right here is the this right here is a star. This could be a natural born star. This could be a fucking leader. Okay, um, you know, where this person is, you know, they're having faith, they're trusting and believing that everything that they've been wanting is coming in. This is an emperor. Okay, this could be a boss. Somebody, the emperor. Somebody's very protected. Okay, very, very, very protected. There's protection here. Uh, somebody's gonna get justice. Justice is here. Somebody's going to get some karma for all this planning and shit that they've done on this Empress. See, they've been a lot of shit hidden. A lot of hidden facts has come to light on this Empress. This is Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is at a crossroads. They don't know what to do, but the death card is here. 